What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultima Device Vids, and today we're going to check out five more jailbreak tweaks for October 2016. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. So first up, we have Lithium Ion. This tweak will allow you to customize your battery indicator in your status bar. So we've seen tweaks that have allowed, have allowed you to do this in the past, but this is a brand new option and it's free and you know it definitely provides some different customization options so to set this tweak up you could go into settings then head over to lithium ion and there's various themes to choose from of course up at the top you have the ability to enable or disable the tweak and then you could go into theme right here so as you can see right here it comes with tons and tons of pre-installed options just so you can really get the look that you want to get as you can see i'm on a charge shells right now which looks pretty decent in my opinion um, and then there's various other ones when you select them as you can see they apply right on the fly no respring required so if we just go through a few we'll go through a few of these you could really just see just some of the different looks you could go after with this tweak or with this theming tweak rather um, let's just back out here and there's also profiles so if you really like a current setup that you have with this tweak you know of course the theme and also the color options and other options which I'll talk about in a second but with profiles you could actually save your current setup by selecting save in here then you could restore back to it at a different time so that's definitely a nice option to have uh, let's just jump into color options and I'll show you guys some of the stuff you could do in here so you have your light main color and your light base color this just allows you to customize you know just add some color to the indicators to spice things up so if we just change the light main color to let's say red and now we'll go the light base color we'll change that to something else and we'll just go ahead and pick a color so now as you can see there in the status bar it's already taking effect I have some color there uh, let's just go ahead and change the theme because a different theme could actually take advantage of both of the colors so let's go with let's just say this one here so as you can see right there now it's utilizing both of the colors red in that purplish type color that I just selected and down here, you can really go into depth on colors. So there's various configuration options that pertain to specific circumstances. As you can see, there are low charging, low power mode, etc., things like that. So you can really go into depth. And there's also other options, which just contain some miscellaneous options. So you could really configure things to your liking. So very detailed preferences panel. You can really get things looking the way you want. But really nice tweak for just customizing that battery icon. And, and also wanted to let you guys know, by the way, uh, the color configuration for the battery indicator does not take uh, place on the home screen as you can see it's still the normal black and white and I think that makes things look simpler but of course when you jump into an app then your color could take an effect but once again this is called lithium ion it's free if you like customizing things definitely check it out Next up, we have Sleek Sheets. This one's available for free, and this tweak cleans up the sheet view that pops up from the bottom of the screen that provides you with options in numerous places in iOS. So again, this is just all over the place in the operating system, and this tweak just kind of allows you to simplify that look and make things look a little bit better. So let's just go ahead and jump into Safari as an example, and we're just going, we're just going to go ahead and tap and hold on a link. And as you see here, this is the sheet interface. So you might notice that it does look different than it normally does. So as you see here, the, there's no separators between the options. So it just goes for a much cleaner look. And also there's no space between the side of the phone and the list of options. It's all just well integrated onto the screen. And also there's no cancel button because essentially you could just tap anywhere in the excess area on the screen to dismiss it. So there's no real need for a cancel button if you know that. And of course you could just tap on the options as you're normally used to, just like this. Or you could actually slide between the options as you're normally you know, able to do as well like this. And again, it works the exact same way. So it just kind of cleans up that interface. And I definitely prefer this look over the stock look. Now you can configure this tweak to your liking if you jump into settings. Just go ahead and find the sleek sheets preferences panel and open it up. And of course you can enable or disable the tweak. And then you could go into settings. So there are basically four components to this tweak that make it what it is. There's square corners, flush edges, hide separators, and hide cancel button. And if you turn all of them off and you bring up the preview, as you can see, it'll just look like it normally does but if you toggle these options on you'll actually see basically what effect they bring to the table and of course if you toggle all of them on it'll eventually look exactly like it did that I, you know when I just showed you basically all cleaned up just like this so once again this tweak is called sleek sheets it's available for free clean up the sheet interface in iOS Next up, we have better text selection. This one's available for free, and this tweak fixes an annoying tendency that the iOS highlighting method has by default. So let's just go ahead and jump into Safari, and I'll show you guys how this performs by default. We, we do not have the tweak installed just yet, so I'm just going to show you guys how it works normally. So when you're highlighting text, you know, you're highlighting, you know, a certain portion of a paragraph. However, when you start dragging down on the page to highlight more, as you can see, if there's more text here, when you're dragging down, it actually doesn't let you highlight 
in into that paragraph. It just doesn't highlight the paragraph at all, or it highlights the whole thing. As you can see, there's no in between. So let's just say I wanted to maybe highlight just a certain portion of this last paragraph here. As you can see, I can't do that with iOS by default, and that's very frustrating. So this week will allow you to actually highlight individual letters, you know, words, sentences, etc to your liking when you're dragging down when you're highlighting something so let's go ahead and install the tweak and i'll show you guys how much better it is so we have it pulled up in city here better text selection we're just going to install it and then again we're going to look at what it how it performs basically after the installation all right let's go ahead and jump back into safari now that the tweak is installed no options to configure and i'll show you guys how it works now so, it's gonna, so we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing we're just going to highlight some text and we're going to drag down as you can see right here, when we're dragging down now, just like that, you can see we're actually able to highlight into this paragraph as we, you know, want to, as opposed to just being forced into highlighting the whole thing. As you can see right here, just like this, it works much easier. I could stop, let's just say, right here, and there you go. I now have the ability to actually copy that just as it is. So very, very helpful tweak. Very simple, but it definitely fixes a big issue with the highlighting method in iOS. And it's a free tweak as well. Once again, it's called Better Text Selection. Next up, we have Phony. This tweak will move the add and delete buttons on the phone keypad from the top view to the bottom view when you're typing a number on the keypad. So normally in iOS, again, they're right up here on either sides of the number. That really doesn't make sense because the call button's down here. And also, if you have a larger device, like maybe a plus-sized iPhone, it might be hard to reach all the way up to the top. And it definitely just makes more sense for these buttons to be down here. And as you can see right here, that this tweak does exactly that. And it works perfectly. And again, it makes sense because all your controls are right down here, of course, along with the call button. And it's just much easier to reach. So it works exactly as advertised. Once again, it's called Phony. Next up, we have Sticky Caps. This one's available for free, and this basically changes the way that the cap locks feature behaves in iOS. So first, we're gonna show you how cap locks normally performs in iOS. We do not have the tweak installed right now. Basically, when you go ahead and double tap the Shift key, as you can see right there, we have the new underlined option there underneath the Shift, and of course, now we're locked in caps mode, as you can see. Uh, however, if you go into the Special Characters menu, or you switch keyboards, that will basically un- lock cap so i'm just going to show you here if i tap on the special character screen we go back you can see there it's no longer locked in caps just like that and the same thing goes for switching keyboards uh, this tweak will essentially stop that from happening and it will stay locked on caps even if you go to special characters or switch keyboards so let's go ahead and install the tweak here here it is sticky caps we're just going to go ahead and install it all right so the tweak's now installed let's just go ahead and jump into the message application again or any application that has a keyboard and then we could just go ahead and lock caps and now i'm going to go ahead and switch to special characters and we'll switch back and as you can see right there just like that it's still locked on caps so we could switch between the screens like this also keyboards as well and again we're still locked on caps simple as that and once again this one's available for free it's called sticky caps no options to configure as well but guys that pretty much wraps up this video hope you guys found some tweaks that you're going to enjoy using if you guys did make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos pertaining to jailbreak tweaks ios ios devices that kind of thing also make sure to follow the channel on twitter like it on facebook and also make sure to follow me on twitter i'll put all those links down below in the description thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one Peace out.